Hello and welcome to another video. I hope that you're all very well. Congratulations, you've passed your driving test. <laughs> On hearing these magical words, many candidates will simply stop absorbing any further information given to them by the examiner. On issuing the pass certificate, the driving examiner will usually mention the new Drivers Act. According to this act, if you were to get six or more points on your driving license within the first two years from the date that you pass your driving test, you will automatically have your license revoked. You will then have to reapply for your provisional driving license, retake your theory test and your practical driving test before getting your license. How easy is it to get these points? Well, if you're a subscriber to the channel, watch my videos on a regular basis and follow the rules of the highway code, your chances of getting penalty points on your license are zero. On the other hand, if once you've passed your driving test, you're just going to throw away the highway code and think, well, I'm the greatest driver in the world, then your chances of getting points are high. Just because you've passed your driving test, it does not mean that you're a good driver. All it means is that you are allowed on the road by yourself to practice and become a good driver. You are basically on a two-year probation. Within that two years, if you get six or more points on your license, you will lose it. Now, there are two reasons, two main reasons that learner drivers get points on their license. The top reason is speeding. It's very easy to get done for speeding these days, especially with one, the 20 mile an hour zones being introduced by various councils across the UK. And two, because of the sat nav, we'll, sat navs are not always up to date and many of us rely on sat navs. The sat nav may show the speed limit to be 30 miles an hour on a particular road whereas the council may have changed it overnight to 20 miles an hour. So it is vital that you do watch the speed signs and you're aware of the speed limit of the road that you are on. Because many people who get done for speeding, they don't get done because they're in a hurry. They get done for speeding because they were unaware that the speed limit had changed. So it is vital that you are aware of the speed limit. You would normally get three penalty points for speeding. However, if you were caught speeding just a few miles over the speed limit, then the police may offer you a speed awareness course instead of the penalty points. So if you accepted and took the speed awareness course, you will not have penalty points on your driving license. The other reason that um, new drivers get points on their license is using a mobile phone. Not just a mobile phone, it could be uh, a tablet, it could be a sat-nav or any device that is capable of sending or receiving data. You get six penalty points on your license for using a mobile device. That means you lose your license straight away in one go. There are no second chances. There are several offences that you can get penalty points on your driving license. For example, like... Um, having worn tyres, you get three penalty points per 
tire on your driving license. So if you've got two bad tires in the front, that is six penalty points. I've I've put a link uh, in the text below with uh, a list of all the offences and the penalty points that you would get for that offence. So do check that out if you are interested. Please remember to subscribe to this channel and keep yourself updated with all the rules and regulations of the road. Until next time, safe driving. Take care. Bye-bye.